Okay, this is my silver pieces right here, and I've uh, marked the back of each one of those, how I fitted that, like this is the 1F, that's the front of the buckle. I hand fitted this nickel silver piece to the shape of this steel buckle. That's pretty much mandatory. Um, um, the solder only fills so much of a gap, so you need to have a tight fit there. And I've got this turned upside down like this. Now I'm going to do what you call tinning or flowing the uh, uh, solder out on the back of this, um, these silver pieces. I've got my um, Stay Bright or Stay Clean uh, liquid flux in this little container here because it doesn't waste it like that bottle does. The, uh, so I just kind of wet the back of this silver, flow that out over there, get a good coat on there on all the pieces. And then I'll lightly heat the silver and then I'll um, flow the soft solder onto the back of this, these pieces. So put that aside right there and I cut a long piece. This piece is probably about 18 inches long. Um, this is 1 16th diameter soft solder. It's lead free and it flows uh, at a low heat where the, uh, the Harris 45% um, silver solder flows at 1100 and something degrees. Well, this is less, uh, this is like 390, I believe, somewhere in there. That's the way you can get by with multiple soldering joints on a piece uh, that you're building, like the center bar of the buckle is high heat on there. Now we're going to solder these silver pieces on there on low heat, and that, uh, will um, not affect the center bar because it melts at a much higher, um, much higher heat. And I guess I'll keep my uh, liquid solder right handy there. And it, it's important that you use the correct uh, uh, liquid solder with the uh, soft solder that you're using. Uh, I know that from experience that it works better if you have the appropriate um, um, liquid flux. And this happens to be called Stay Clean by Harris. Okay, I'm going to start my torch up here. Turn it on down to a soft flame. Soften it a little more. That's going the wrong way there. That's fairly soft, but I'm going to soften it a little bit more right there like that. And then I'll show you how to do this. Just, just kind of work your flame over there, backed off. I'm about six or seven inches, maybe eight, away from the silver. And... Kind of work your torch around to you know that the silver is getting hot. See it just flowed real easy right there. What I'll do is just flow that all around. And the only way I can describe this is you'll have to do enough of this to know about how much solder you need on the back of your silver without having just a, a mess when it flows. It looks like that's enough for that piece, this smaller piece here. I'll do it next. Just work the heat over there. If that... <laughs> um, well, when it turns brown, that's just, it's time to go to soldering it, putting that on there. Yeah, that's a plenty of, um, of soft solder on the back of that. 
and you can take like a little steel rod or something or a screwdriver or something and actually kind of manipulate the solder all over the back it'll help a little bit and put a little heat every now and then you've got a, a pretty considerable amount of uh, work time um, with this solder to move your piece around till it sets and it's good to have a, a spray bottle uh, once you get the silver set on the steel or the um, whatever you're soldering it to you can kind of lock it in by using a, a spray bottle like this have it have water in it and sometimes just a little bit of soapy water in there will you can just spray that and it, it will like I'll have to work on it. It'll lock that down and just kind of freeze it like that, and it'll stick. <laughs>